The work of the San Diego Zoo goes far beyond what we see here at home. In fact, they're gaining critical knowledge daily from all around the world, including the Arctic. In this morning's Earth 8 report, we're showing you how local scientists are making new discoveries on polar bears. We're so lucky here in San Diego to get to view these three polar bears on any given day at the San Diego Zoo. Behind the safety of glass, we can watch the 1,100 pound Kaluk with his sister, Tatik. They were both rescued out of Alaska at just 12 to 16 pounds when their mom was shot and killed by a hunter. Then there's Chinook, the one with the goatee, who was also left orphaned, rescued out of Canada. People can come and see the bears that they might not ever see in the wild and make that connection. While we're watching, Watching them seemingly play around, bask in the sun, and enjoy some bites to eat. Researchers like Dr. Nicholas Pilfold are also learning from them here to help their population a world away. Polar bears are a very difficult species to study. Uh, they cover a very inaccessible terrain. A uh, polar bear, a single polar bear, can cover something like 250,000 square kilometers in a single year, so a very large space. And in the middle of winter, it can be 24 hours of darkness, and it can be as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So really, really tough for researchers to go out and, and work on the bears in person. But he's doing just that along with a team of researchers in the frigid Arctic with the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance, the Polar Bears International, the Norwegian Polar Institute, and the University of Toronto Scarborough to reveal the first detailed look at polar bear cubs emerging from their dens. They've been tracking bears with GPS collars and setting up a series of cameras where the bears are known to build dens in Svalbard, Norway. And now look at this remarkable sight. The remote cameras have now captured the moment a mother pokes her head out from her den, covered in mounds of snow, to see if the world is safe enough for her little ones. Believe it or not, when a polar bear is born, they're just about one pound. They're hairless, blind, completely relying on their mother for that high fatty milk so they can grow. They're very vulnerable. And this research is showing that they're in the den for anywhere from two to four months. Sadly, only about 50% of cubs survive, so their timing is crucial. It's still really cold outside. So if you go and expose a cub to that cold air, they could get a chill, a hypothermia, and that could be a cause of mortality for these cubs. So they want to make sure they're big enough, robust enough, that they can handle the outside environment. They typically stay by mom's side for about two and a half years as she shows them how to hunt for their main food source, seals on the sea ice. In this video, you can see a mother with three cubs as they seem to be sliding down snow banks and perhaps getting their bearings. Learning about their denning habits is critical to the species survival because as many people now know, the polar bear's biggest threat is climate change. What's happening in the Arctic right now is it's warming at about two to three times the rate of the rest of the planet. So if you think about the changes that we see here in California, they're happening even faster in the Arctic. They're losing sea ice at a rapid rate. Why does that matter? seem in populations of polar bears where they're spending more time on land and away from ice because the ice just isn't there anymore. And that pushes bears really hard. When they're on the ice, they're hunting seals, they're gaining fat, they're getting big. When they come off of that ice, they have to fast. And no one wants to see a hungry polar bear, which is why these latest findings and videos of polar bear activity will then help determine how industries in the Arctic can coexist to not disturb a species that is now the flagship for climate change. Oh, it's fun to see them playing, slide yes. in there a little bit. The little babies yeah. sliding along the snowbanks. I mean, the fact that they're in these dens for months, right, right, getting yeah. covered in all this snow, for researchers, they're like, where did the polar bears go? <laughs> yeah. But those cameras are giving them all that crucial uh, imagery yeah. just, just to understand their behavior now as things have changed. Is there the anything cuter than a little tiny polar bear baby? <laughs> you don't want to go close to them. No, 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 no. no. no hugging we'll watch the bears. it on video. Um, <laughs> yeah. but super cute. Yeah, they are. They are. And yeah, interacting. such an important species, right, yeah. that we learn more about. Awesome. Thank you for the story.